Hi viewers, thank you for joining me again on this episode on Aviation Info. In our today's video, I shall take you out through my experience with Fly Safe Air. And to be more specific, I will take you out through the process from online booking to online check-in, traveling to the airport, going through immigration and all through the flight till my arrival in Cape Town. Stay put. FlySafe Air is one of South Africa's best airlines. It operates as a low-cost carrier and the airline figured among the top 10 best airlines in Africa in 2022. FlySafe Air specializes in providing domestic flight services within South Africa, traveling to seven local destinations with its fleet of 17 Boeing aircrafts. The airline began operation in October 2014 and has its hub at Cape Town International Airport and O.R. Dambo International Airport. Having given you this brief introduction about FlySafe Air, let's go to my trip from Johannesburg up to Cape Town. In order to get a cheaper fare and equally a good seat on the aircraft, I decided to book my trip days before. We have a variety of services that we can actually book during the online booking. I booked for an extra luggage of 20 kilos. I equally booked for snacks and also I booked for an insurance coverage. After having chosen all the services, I now proceed to the next page where I was requested to input my names, my phone number, my email address, my passport number and also my year of birth. This is just a few of the services that you can have on FlySafe website during flight reservation. And I decided to book for a window seat in order to have an amazing view of the city. The website equally have car rental services. You can actually book for a ride right from the website. After all of this has been built in, everything done. Right now, I can proceed to pay my ticket by imputing my credit card details. And a day before the trip, travelers will receive an email confirmation from FlySafe that they can actually do their check-in online. And after I got the email confirmation that online check-in was open, I proceeded to do my online check-in. This is advantageous because it helps you to save time at the airport. And once you're done with online check-in, you receive an e-boarding pass that could either be sent to you through your email or also through WhatsApp. So having my boarding pass, let's now drive to the airport. It was a busy day this morning with traffic but I was able to make it on time at the airport.
finally arrived at terminal A of the airport and went straight to fly safe a chicken counter where I dropped my bag and I was also given another boarding pass. I went straight through the immigration and also went straight to the boarding gate. And now it's time to board the flight. Boarding is done with regards to the seats of passengers. Means passengers having seats from maybe number one up to number number seventeen, the board in front. Meanwhile, those having seats uh, at the back will board the aircraft from the steps behind. And I was one of them. I had seat as uh, seat number twenty six alpha, so I had to board the flight from behind, which gave me a few of the time. Her, an oxygen mask will drop from the service panel above your head. Remove your cloth mask first. Pull the mask towards you. Place the mask firmly over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. The bag will not fully inflate, although oxygen is flowing. Please also assist fellow passengers who may need the pump. To pass your seatbelt, insert the flash metal tip into the buckle. A loud click will be heard. Pull on the loose strap to tighten and to release, simply lift the flap. For your own comfort and safety, we suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened for the duration of the flight. For takeoff and landing, place your hand luggage under the seat in front of you. Your tray table must be stowed, window blinds must be completely open, your seat must be in the upright position and all electronic devices must now be switched off and packed away. Smoking and the use of e-cigarettes is strictly forbidden on all ailing flights. Tampering with damaging, removing aircraft emergency equipment, or interfering with the duties of the flight crew is a criminal offence. And finally, we've been cleared to take off on runway 03 left and the cruise altitude was 37,000 feet, that if I'm not mistaken. Kindly keep following me as we take off into the skies. And once on cruising altitude, flight safe flight attendants attend to passengers with their requests. This include what they had booked online or what they want to pay on board.
Now this time we are actually approaching Cape Town International Airport. We can have a view of the Table Mountain and we can equally have a view of the city. The landing will go over the sea before coming back to the airport. It's an amazing approach. The flight in general was a very smooth flight. There was no turbulence, no clear air turbulence, and the visibility was so just perfect. And here we go, we finally touched down at Cape Town International Airport after a 2 hours and 10 minutes flight on a Boeing 737-800. The aircraft made its way to the parking slot and we all disembarked the flight and we went to get our bags. and my bag just arrived i finally got the bag and went through at the exit and this has been my trip from or tambo international airport to cape town international airport and days after the trip you receive an email from flysafe for you to share your experience i really enjoyed my trip with uh, flysafe not very my first time flying this airline and a big thanks to the entire crew of the day and also everyone that worked hand in hand for a safe flight operation. Great thanks to the management. Meanwhile, if this is your very first time on Addition Info, please don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any of my amazing uploads.